Hey Fire Signs, Aries Sagittarius, Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So if you are also dealing with a fire sign romantically, uh, or you're interested to see what's coming up on their end, this can also be applicable for you. So uh, I'm going to be using a couple of decks, but before I begin and um, lay out a card for overall energy, I do want to say that if um, you could please subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. Um, also, if you wanted to become a channel member, you can do so via the join button. And that's going to give you access to member-only content. Um, having said that, let's jump into this and see what's coming up for the week ahead. For fire signs, what is the overall energy? For fire signs, okay, you've got the three of swords. So matters of the heart and potentially a love triangle, love triangle or a conflict is coming up. Now it may be around an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I feel like there's something that's that's hurting you, okay? It's, it's occupying your mind and it's hurting your heart here, fire sign. So I feel like there's a bit of a love entanglement. Some of you are cheating. Some of you are keeping your options open. You're jumping from person to person. This is potentially attracting a drama-like situation here. Or there's something else that's coming in between you and a relationship. Now, it may be another person. Some of you may have air sign exes, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that are coming back in. They're making you feel confused. Um, could also be your person that has an ex coming up. But I feel like there's matters of the heart that you have to address. Um, let's see in a little bit more detail. Okay, Six of Cups is reversed. So this is the past. I feel like it could, if, if it is an ex or like the past coming back in, I feel like you're going to actually reject it. So I actually seeing you, seeing like, seeing you say no. Or if it's like your person and the ex sort of comes back and sees that your person is all over you and you're, they're doing all these things for you, you know, they might get jealous. Okay, there could be jealousy here, but I feel like Six of Cups, uh, six of cups reversed. Sorry, Nine of Cups reversed. I keep saying six. Um, nine of Cups reversed is telling me that, um, you know, they're not going to get their wish fulfilled, so... If they're trying to ruin a good thing here by coming in between your relationship, it could be that they don't succeed, okay? There's no succession here. Um, the Nine of Pentacles, you feel fulfilled with this person, so I feel like you are... Uh, some of you fire signs, you're completing something here, like completing a relationship, you're coming on to the next stage. Some of you are working uh, or completing something in your work, okay? I'm seeing completion of a project, uh, and that's going to make you really happy, but I feel for the most part... That Three of Swords is going to come in and distract you for some reason. Okay, so you've got Virgo energy. Virgo's reversed. Um, I don't know. I'm getting some of you don't want to be alone. What's going on here, Fire Signs? You don't want to be alone, but you're getting involved in toxic situations. Or you're getting involved in people who aren't emotionally available. So they can't give you commitment. They're not. Maybe they're confused between head and heart. It's more around you, so I feel like... I feel like you're sort of going into it with the thought that you don't want to be alone. Could be that you're coming out of something and you've been single for a long time. Some of you are just outright refusing to be in that kind of energy. Um, I keep getting that something isn't perfect and you're just, there could be complacency. It's not perfect, but you're getting complacent in a situation. It's not ideal. It's not what you want. It's not what you wished for, but... For some reason, some of you are staying. What's going on here? Knight of Pentacles is reversed. Um, I get that it's around a situation that's been very like back and forth or very much on the edge. There hasn't been much consistency in this. Um, but I think some of you like that fire signs. You know, things haven't been consistent or ongoing, but somehow it's sort of, it's keeping you interested or you like things that way where you're sort of kept on your toes. I don't know if this is an abusive situation. Some of you need to get out. We've got the Knight of Swords here, but the Knight of Swords is reversed. You're not taking any action. Okay, you're not addressing the situation. There's some abusive behavior. It could be like emotional. It could be the way someone speaks to you. But, you know, I see a lot of you fire signs. You're not taking the action. You're, you're sort of letting it happen. Um, it could be like someone you know makes a confession that they're going through an abusive situation here as well. And it might be sort of your responsibility to raise the alarm. I don't know. It could, could be sort of mixed here. Um, but I feel like 
a lot of you aren't getting what you want. You've asked for this respect. You've asked for something and you're not getting it. Uh, and that could also be adding to the confusion with the Three of Swords. Coming into the Three vibration, you do have some major decisions that you need to make because you're on a journey of some kind. So I feel like you're in the process, okay? That Three of Swords is here and it's waking you up to what is going on around you. Maybe some things you were previously oblivious to. And now all of a sudden it's it's coming up here, Fire Signs. So, you know, you can't ignore this. Uh you need to know what's up in this sort of situation. A lot of you have been trying to ignore it, thinking it's going to go away. It's not the case. Or some of you, not that you're blinded, but I feel like maybe you're fearful of being single. Or you're fearful of ending up alone. I don't know. There could be that fear. If not, there could be some jealousy coming into the picture here. Uh, and I feel like I don't know, that Three of Swords, I see a lot of you, it's like you can't focus on anything else that you're doing, especially if like you're near completing a project or something. It's like your mind keeps going back to this Three of Swords energy. And like, I don't know, it's spilling over to other areas of your life, your career, your social, you know, your, your creative status, whatever. This is like affecting it. So it probably needs to be discussed, but the Knight of Swords is here and it's reversed. So it's telling me you're not willing to talk about it. Something's going on here. If you're dealing with a fire sign, I feel like this person is avoiding having a certain talk with you because they know it's going to lead to something messy. So they're pulling out. They're avoiding that altogether. It could be that this air sign has options, okay, and they're not telling you about it. Um, I feel like if you're dealing with an earth sign, earth energy, uh, I feel like you're settled. You're happy, your soul is not ideal, uh, but could be how this person feels as well. Happy, settled, complacent, comfortable um, is what I'm getting at. Nine of Cups is a water sign not getting what they want with you and it's putting them in a bad way. Um, they're feeling unhappy about a situation. They feel like they can't have you. It's like deflated them or they feel like they've lost their chance with you. Um, so this water sign feels like hope is lost, you know, they've lost hope, they've lost this chance, especially if you've ended it with this person, uh, whether they dumped you, you dumped them, whatever it was, they feel like they've lost that chance. Uh, so I feel like there's a bit of a, you know, that storm, that rocky boat here with the three of swords. So I feel like you just got to push through, really push through this week, uh, fire signs. I'm going to leave it there, though, so I do hope that it has been helpful. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And also, if you want to become a channel member, you can do so. Um, I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon. So have a wonderful week ahead, Fire Signs. And until next time, bye for now.